हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो वेलकम अगेन आई एम प्रोफेसर दिलीप जी ग्यासी फ्रॉम एस आई आर टी द सेज ग्रुप भोपाल टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद यू अबाउट वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंटरेस्टिंग सब्जेक्ट यू आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इन इंजीनियरिंग दैट सब्जेक्ट विल बी नोन एज इंजीनियरिंग ग्राफिक्स आई होप यू हर्ड अबाउट दिस सब्जेक्ट अर्लियर ऑल्सो मे बी थ्रू योर कलीग्स और मे बी सीनियर्स और योर ब्रदर्स सिस्टर्स मे बी फादर मदर दो हु हैव डन द इंजीनियरिंग एंड दिस इज़ वन ऑफ द बेसिक सब्जेक्ट वन वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग स्टेटमेंट्स गिवन बाय द पीपल दैट विल बी दैट दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट सब्जेक्ट बिकॉज दिस इज द बेसिक अबाउट इंजीनियर्स यू कैन कॉल दैट Engineering graphics is the basic language of an engineer. That is the statement. So this is the basic language. As in earlier stages, when we start our schooling, A B C D will be the basic part. A A E E will be the basic part. Same way in engineering, the basic language of an engineer will be engineering graphics. Before engineering graphics, I want to talk with you about drawing. The drawing will be very simple word for all of us e- even if i talk with a very small baby then he-, he or she will say that i love drawing and i hope that many of you will give the same statement that you your drawing is very good you or you can very good in drawing you know so drawing will be one of the basic starting subject which a child starts reading in the school days even in at the level of kg and first in the primary school level and sometimes what they will do they will draw some sketches and also color those drawings so if i want to define drawing then the simple definition for for drawing will be drawing can be defined as the representation of any object with the help of systematic lines i am using this word systematic lines that is one of the very important word what i will say that drawing is representation of any object on a plane of paper on a sheet on a screen with the help of systematic lines so drawing can be defined as representation of any object on a plane of paper on a sheet on a screen or maybe on this board with the help of systematic lines i am using stressing giving a stress on this systematic lines because systematic lines so if you draw some drawing then i can understand if i can draw then you can understand otherwise when a child will also draw some lines on a wall or on a floor with the help of a colored chalk or maybe a sketch pen that is according to him or her that will be a drawing but maybe we cannot understand that particularly so this systematic lines word will be important as you know that whenever we talk about drawing in the school level when you start studying geometry then in geometry you can draw geometrical figures then if you want to draw a square then you know that a square for a square there will be a certain type of lines required there are four lines and all the four lines will be making 40 90 degree angle with each other the length of all the sides will be same angles or will be same so that figure is square if you draw that is square if you cannot mention that is a square i can see the figure and i can judge that that will be a square so that is the advantage of using systematic lines and it is rightly said that as i have defined that and if you go about the drawing then drawing may be that is the one of the oldest language a human can know you know if you remember in the earlier days even during the ashoka period that language cannot be studied by 
the pupil but those drawings from the earlier ancient pupils during the cave ages that we can still from those drawings we can understand how the human will be at that time or how are the animals at that period which type of weapons they are using what are the agriculture they are producing at that time so if i go in that way then drawing is the one of the ancient language which is still readable otherwise many languages are there which are now obsolete actually we cannot understand what they have written so if i go for a written language i can say the oldest language written language for the communication of human will be drawing so that is the importance of drawing also you know that whenever some idea will come in our mind the easiest way to express that idea is with the help of drawing and drawing again can be classified there are two types of drawings are there one will be known as engineering drawing that is our subject in engineering so that is engineering drawing and another classification will be artistic drawing normally when we talk about drawing word people will think that if i am saying how are you in drawing what do you think about drawing the people will say that drawing means artistic drawing the artist that they can draw with the help of free hand but there are two types of drawings are there one will be engineering drawing and the second will be artistic drawing sketching will will be one of the primary way to express our ideas if i have some idea about i want to develop some machine i want to build a new building a new structure then some thoughts are in my mind so in the in the initial level i what i can do i can do free hand sketching so this artistic drawing will be one of the way to express our idea with the help of free hand so at the initial level maybe in engineering also we can draw free hand sketching but later on we can finalize and fix that with the help of instruments with the help of dimensions and that drawing will be known as engineering drawing so the what is the basic difference between these two drawings will be artistic drawing will be a free hand drawing and this is drawing will be drawn with the help of instruments and measurements or you can say with the help of dimensions so engineering drawing we are going to use the simple tools those you have also used in the geometry first when you got the geometry box there are number of instruments in that geometry box later on we will also discuss about that so there are two types of drawings one will be engineering drawing second will be artistic drawing that is also known as free hand drawing and this drawing is also this subject is also the same that is instead of drawing what word we have used that will be graphics so you can also call that graphics so that is engineering graphics so this is our subject in this semester the code for this subject in rgpb will be bt105 that is the subject code of this subject and when we talk about engineering graphics as an engineer if i talk as an engineer as the engineer will be a creator so whatever the idea comes in your mind you can bring that into the reality with the help of drawing or sketching whatever the imagination you are as a you can say as a creator or what are the specialty you are thinking some new new thing you want to design or drawing so in engineering and as in designing also in both the graphics or you can say engineering drawing or engineering graphics is one of the very important subject and this is one of the very important aspect about expressing our ideas and bringing them into the reality 
so in engineering graphics also we can if we want to classify that the first type of drawing will be that is known as geometrical drawing and this geometrical drawing will word will be i think you remember that will be related to geometry so geometrical drawing then another type of drawing may be you are from mechanical side so that is mechanical engineering drawing then uh, you can also say civil engineering drawing then also electrical and electronics engineering drawing so mechanical people will uh, make drawings of the machine parts and its components civil people will draw drawings about the structures buildings bridges dams electrical people will uh, make drawings of the different distribution of electrical network electrical equipments same way electronic people will draw drawings of different electronic component pcbs ic's very small tiny components in that case we will enlarge the size of the object and draw so in the drawing also we can use the instruments and you can use the dimensions also and if required you can enlarge the size of the object or you can reduce of the size of the object object as civil engineers cannot draw any drawing on the actual size so they will draw reduce size drawing but maybe electronic people will enlarge also same for the mechanical people they can draw on the actual size reducing as well as enlarging drawing so, so this will be the latter in the uh, senior semester you are uh, as per your subject you are going to study about mechanical drawing civil engineering drawing or electrical and electronics drawing right now in our this uh, chapter we are discussing going to discuss about geometrical drawing also if you say that uh, in the case of computer science also if you remember that in earlier duration when the dos based computer and the dos based systems are applicable it is really difficult for a normal person to understand how to use the commands how to use the different app applications but now all the applications all the commands have some particular icons and that is the drawing of that icon na? so that figure will be directly we can see that icon and we can understand that this will be for this application so that a small figure will give directly an idea so there will be a, a gear type a signal in the mobile or computer you can easily know that that will be command for the setting so in the digital world also this drawing you can say it is more powerful and universal language drawing will be more powerful and universal language in the field of it and computer also all those window based systems through a one single icon you can understand what is the command so that is the power of a simple drawing simple notation simple uh, you can say app uh, notation so right now i am going to discuss you about this geometrical drawing actually this is our subject this graphics engineering graphics as we are in the first year so this subject will be common to all the branches cs it mechanical civil electrical electronics ai ml cyber security data science all the branches in our institute in the university all will study this subject sometimes people will say that why i am studying this subject i am not from mechanical i am not from civil people will sometimes a student have this uh, predefined mindset that this subject will be important for mechanical or civil people that is not true as i already explained you drawing will be a bigger thing and this will be universal language for all the engineers if you want to express anything any idea the best way or the you can say initial way to express that idea with the help of drawing so in geometrical drawing 
what is the uh, what we are going to do we are going to draw drawings of simple geometrical objects what you have studied in school level also you know the so those so same things many objects whenever we talk about geometry the first reaction from the student side will become that geometry in geometry what we will do we will draw different plane figures like triangle square rectangle like that and maybe sometimes they will also talk about different type of solids which they remember that may be cube or you can say cuboid so these type of geometrical figures so in our subject engineering graphics we are going to draw these different type of figures as i already discussed with you that engineering graphics is the drawing drawn with the help of instruments so basically we require few basic instruments apart from your geometry box instruments which you are already used in the school level so i am going to uh, give you a brief idea about few of the instruments we require for this subject the first one will be for drawing that will be uh, you can say a sketch book so we need a sketch book and that will be a3 size sketch book then second we need one unruled notebook that is again important we are going to draw all the drawings on unruled paper not in the paper ruled papers because in ruled paper what will happen that you will use those those ruler lines for drawing straight lines instead of that what i want we can draw in a unruled notebook or you can say a sketch book the third will be a roller scale this is a type of a scale which is used to draw parallel lines this will be also available in different sizes better you can go for 6 inches scale 6 inches scale then another scale that you have seen in the market that will be a ruler scale this time you can go for a 12 inch scale then fifth that will be compass that is used to draw arcs or circles so better go for a large bow compass then there will be one instrument that is known as divider this time go for a small bow divider that will be don't purchase a complete compass box maybe many of instruments in that compass box engineering box that are not useful for us so i will i am giving you specifically these instruments you have to purchase then the seventh will be very well known instrument to you that will be a, a protector so go for a protector go for one very good brand that is omega brand then one instrument that we will use that is known as french curves this is used to draw different curves match different curve then pencils pencils are most important part one particular brand we are interested that will be kohinoor brand pencils and in this also we require three grade pencils one will be hb then second will be h and third will be 2h different grades for different type of lines we are going to draw in the engineering then 10th will be uh, good quality eraser 11th will be a sharpener so in the classroom normally i require these few uh, drawing instruments from you and i hope you have little idea about this subject and as i already told you we are going to study geometrical drawing that is part of engineering graphics further in the next lecture i will elaborate about the subject what is the slabby of the subject i hope you understand the concept and be ready for this new very interesting subject of your coming semester thank you thank you very much